couple of grips up there. Yes, Mr. Hayes. Mike, Joe, Tim. Now let's have a good old Brown County landscape. Yes, sir. Brown County landscape. Yes, sir. Out that way. How's that, Mr. Hayes? Looks a little not so good, but it'll do. Now bring in the old oaken bucket. Fellas, I'll take charge of the bucket. Go ahead. Sit it down. Sit it down over to the right. No, to the left. Not so far. Closer to the camera. No, no, more to the right. More to the right. Mr. Hayes, come up here and do it yourself. I handle buckets all my life. What, what am I doing up here? All right, Will, you always wanted to be a star. Now's your chance. Oh, now see what you've done. You've got me talking to myself. No, no, you've got us talking to ourselves. No, uh, we've got ourselves talking to you, me. Say, who, who is which? Who, who is which up here? Oh, skip it. The fine star you are. Now that you've got everything balled up up there, about the best thing you can do is introduce the real star. Uh, you, now you've got something. This is the picture. Quiet everybody. Lights, roll them, camera. Gentlemen, we've gone to extraordinary lengths to get for you the one right person to play the part of Miss Fawn Lippincott, the Hoosier heroine. We had a statewide contest. And from thousands of entries, from every crossroads, it was Madison which sent us the winner. A girl who always has wanted a real chance to appear in public. So now we welcome our promising contest winner, in whose future we all believe with all our heart. The most lovely and gracious Miss Irene Dunn. Wow. Wouldn't you know she was from Indiana? Uh, well, you're pretty typical yourself, Will. Although, sometimes you do remind me of somebody else. Let's see, who uh, is it? Robert uh, Taylor, maybe? No. Clark, no. uh... Yes, that's it. The Indiana Clark Gable. <laughs> After that, I think I better regain my own table. No, Will, you better stay right up here where I can keep an eye on you. One of you is enough trouble. You know, I was thinking that maybe we, uh... Where are you? Will! I'm down here, Irene. <sighs> well, you are like that bug on the mill pond you were talking about. By the way, Irene, uh, you remember Mark Brown, don't you? Oh, yes, yes. Bruce Evans introduced me to him one time when I was a little bit of a girl. <laughs> I thought you'd remember him. He's still wearing the same suit. Oh, no, really? You know, I think we ought to get him out to Hollywood, Will. Of course, he'd, he'd have to reduce a little. <laughs> oh, Mr. Brown, <laughs> I didn't mean that, really. This uh, Alan LeMay, the Indianapolis writer, indicated that in the script. I wouldn't say that for the world. <laughs> uh, oh, he has something awful here about Chester Cleveland. Oh, <laughs> and Governor Green, he's... Oh, and Harold von Orman. Oh, I, I will. I'm not going to read the stuff in here. <laughs> oh, Harold. <laughs> oh, really? No, no, folks. All joking aside, I'm happier than I can say to be here tonight. I can't express in words exactly... Really? You mean it? All right. <laughs> this is for all of you. Everybody who loves Indiana and cherishes Hoosier memories as I do. From my Indiana homestead wave the cornfields In the distance home the woodlands clear and cool Oftentimes my thoughts revert to scenes of joy
to see my mom. 